today I will answer a question that uh, a lot of uh, like a lot of subscribers traders viewers um, they need an answer for something that has no answer now what is the question the question is how much I need to begin trading now this is a vague question vague question it means that if you have for example one thousand dollars and I will tell you that you should begin with ten or fifteen thousand or twenty thousand what, what, what will happen to you you get frustrated and you think that you have a dream and you have no dream right now and uh, and you should you go to other channels and you try to see what the other people say and and so on and so forth so here is my answer when you want to begin, begin with whatever money you have, okay? If you have $500, you begin with $500, okay? Because you don't have money. You, the only thing that you should never do in trading, when you begin trading as a new beginner, the only thing that you shouldn't do is to go and to borrow money from your friends or family or your father or your mother or your or girlfriend or your wife borrowing money when you are a beginner is a very very risky thing why because you don't know how to trade how can you borrow money to trade and you don't know how to trade so automatically after a few months or one year you will lose this money so you will be in debt okay this is the first thing i ask you not to do don't borrow money now if you have one thousand two thousand and and you want to do a margin account also you are borrowing money from your broker don't borrow money don't do um, margin account when you are a beginner now why because you are borrowing money if you lose money because in a trade if you have two thousand dollars and the margin account they give you two thousand so you have four thousand dollars okay it's good now when you buy four thousand dollars you buy a stock and it goes down so you will have a double loss you don't lose only your money but you lose uh, the broker money okay so you will have double loss because the 2000 that you have it's not yours now if you make money you double the money which is very good but when you lose money and I, I think that when you are a beginner, you lose more than you win, okay? And by the end of the year, you see your account shrink, 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 and then you lose a lot of money, and then your broker will stop you okay, from trading, stop you from trading until you bring money or he will take from your money, and thus you will have no money in your account. So this is the things... Uh, that I don't like any beginner to do which is to borrow money okay even if someone is very close to you your father your mother your sister or your brother or your son or wherever is the person okay you are borrowing money and you are putting this money at risk while you you don't know how to trade if you know how to trade and you are successful and you ask for you borrow money you have much account this is okay because you know what you are doing as a beginner I'm telling you you are not you don't know what you are doing in trading and you read some books you go so online and they show you some techniques but most of the time all these things that are online most of the time uh, they are general things it, it it doesn't make that much money with these things because it's general you should have a strategy with specific rules uh, with uh, specific rules and and so and so on and so forth okay so we we go back to our question how much money do i need you need always more money now what do you think what do you think if you have one thousand which is better you have one thousand or you have ten thousand oh you tell me oh ten thousand accounts is better because i can buy more and more okay what about ten thousand to one hundred thousand what do you think which, which is better Oh, you say to me, oh, 100,000 is good. It's better than 10,000. If I trade and I'm successful, I can make money and I grow my mo money until it becomes uh, too much money. 
Okay? So you answer, you answer your question by yourself. Understand that when you have more, more, and more money, you can buy good stocks. Now, if you don't have more money, wh wh where are you going? Tell me. Okay? Can you, bo can you buy Google with $500 share? No. Wh where are you going? You will be going to these many stocks that are highly manipulated, and the, the bid and the ask is so wide, so you end up trading penny stocks that it is so manipulated and these guys these scammers online they will take your money uh whenever you trade sometimes sometimes in penny stocks you do a good trade or two you will see that yet you have some money 100 dollars 200 500 dollars you see it and you think that now you become an expert and you become a, a professional trader in penny stocks. But just a few days, few weeks, you put all your money in one, in one penny stock and they short it or they hit it. And then you will see that you have a big loss and all your money is gone. Okay? So when we have small accounts, it's frustrating. Frustrating, it, what does it mean? It means you can't buy the good thing. For example, you, you want a sport car, okay? Sport cars are expensive. Even they are old, they are expensive. Or they are used. They are still expensive because they are uh, sport cars. If you have $500, $1,000, are you going to buy a sport car? Okay? No. You don't have money. So you get obliged to buy damaged and broken cars. Okay? So... That's it for stocks. I see stocks that, that for example, $100, in one day it goes $8, $10 a day. So in, in three days, four days, from, one th uh, from $100, it can go to $150 in one week. This is what the people are looking for, are looking for money, for stocks that can go very, very quick uh, uh, upward and they can make too much money. Now, how do you get to this kind of stocks? You should have money. I know that you don't have money. I know. This is, this is very simple. Okay, you say, I have only 1,000, 2,000. Okay. Save more money, work another job, and save money. Save, save until your, your, uh, your uh, account becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. Even if, you, if your account is 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, save more money and put in your account and trade. If you are successful in trading, believe me, from ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand, you will get forty thousand, sixty thousand, and in a few years, and your 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 amount of money become bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until until you feel free, okay, free, and you can rely on your account, because how can you you have five thousand and you want to quit your job and to look for freedom? Financial freedom, as they say, you can't with 5,000, 10,000, you can't. Because how much you need in a year? Okay? How much do you need in a year in your, in your expenses, life expenses from rent or mortgage or, or bills? You need a lot. Okay? So since you need a lot, you see how much you need money in your account in order, in order to, to use your account. Okay? So... This question, how much I need, you need more and more and more money. The more money you, you have, the more you can buy good stocks and the more you can have money if you, if you know how to trade. And this is how the people make the money. Okay? Let's say you have $100,000. If in a year you get 50%, 50 what do you get? You get 50000 Is 50000 a year good for you? Yes, okay, it's good for you. So what do you need? You need $100,000. Okay? And you need to know how to trade first. It's not just you need money. Even if you have money and you don't know how to trade, they will take your money. So uh, having a big, a big account is just an advantage to you. You can buy better better stocks than, than penny stocks that, that the people. People are dreaming. Uh, in penny stocks, people are going like lottery. Okay? They are looking for this lottery tic ticket 
that when you buy and you get the jackpot and then you, you they become rich and wealthy this is this is what what it is like uh, that's why people they can't make it with penny stocks and a lot of people they do scams okay it's very really hard either you be you be a professional trader and you and you and you and you um, and you buy these kind of stocks but you don't buy certain kind of penny stocks which are called uh, pimp and dump schemes you see them in the chart you know that it is just a scam okay uh, a, a stock that it, it was trading for 10 cents for six months one year two years 10 cents 15 cents 14 cents and then in one day it goes to one dollar understand that this is a scam okay it's not a real trading okay but in big stocks you see a stock that it was twenty dollars and after six months it goes to eighty dollars ninety dollars one hundred dollars what's this this is a real company and a real stock and the the ones who buy are mutual friends and you see the history you see the history of uh, of the stock and you see the uptrend okay this is our big guys buying and we as a swing trader what what are we following we are just following these guys who have big money like mutual funds, uh, pension uh, pension plans, uh, banks, uh, very large big traders, uh, corporations that they buy a lot of shares, insurance uh, companies they buy a lot of lot of a lot of shares of the companies. Okay, so we are following trends. We are not following a trend of one day, okay, or two days like penny stocks. This is not a trend. This is going only one day or two and then it goes down one or two so we can't make the money like this and you should day trade okay that's why you if you have little money you will be frustrated always to uh, to uh, because you don't have money to buy uh, normal stocks you go to this penny stocks and you and some people they begin to make you a dream to make too much money but at the end of the year try to check yourself okay you are you are doing penny stocks. How was your performance this year, last year, 2014? Have you made more money? Okay. Most most of the people who uh, who do penny stocks either they break they break even or they lose too much money because uh, because these kind of stocks are manipulated and everyone have you seen for example I just give you an example have you seen a floor trader in New York Exchange? playing with penny stocks he can't because he has he has millions of dollars to he he trade with 50 million dollars a day he, he can't he can't put his money into a small stock he can't because there is no money in that in that kind of thing the only thing you can make money there is that you search some uh, penny stocks that doesn't doesn't go to the category of uh, pimp and damn schemes those stocks that you can get from um, a newsletter, chat rooms, uh, forums, and and so on, and so on and so forth, and from websites online. Oh, uh, take this uh, website. It's ten uh, ten cent. It will go to one dollar on Monday. Buy it. Okay. They ask you to buy, as if they know the future. But those guys, they are scammers. They do a scam in order to take your money. But if you go to uh, Facebook or to go Twitter, they can't. They can't move that kind of stock because it needs billions of dollars to move it in one dollar or two. You understand right now? There are stocks that if they are going up, it means there is someone who has billions and billions of dollars to move this stock. It's not it's not with ten thousand dollars or two thousand or twenty thousand dollars you move a stock. You can't. These are penny stocks. Okay? So we go back to our question, which is how much money do I need to begin trading? Okay, you begin with whatever you have. But understand that in order to be not stressed out, not frustrated, you should make the account bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. How? You should save money or you work a second job or you do some business, whatever you want to do. But the only thing that you should not do is to borrow money from your family or borrow your money from your broker which is merchant account and you tell me oh okay i have two thousand i have a margin account i have four thousand now so i can trade okay 
So you are borrowing money, you don't know how to trade. You know the end. What will happen to you when you, when you don't know how to trade? Even if you know how to trade, 2000 or 4000 it's not it's not uh, a big money that you can that you can work with it you can train yourself it's okay so all the people who have small account try to uh, focus not to make money try to focus to learn how to make money this is your objective the first year or the second year when you are a beginner uh, try to preserve your money and try to train yourself to become a trader first and then when you know how to trade and you see that you are successful and then you can make a merchant account or you borrow your money or whatever when you when you are in a stage you can make money from the from the market the market is not easy as you might think okay it's not they are professional on the thing and they do whatever there is no certainty there is no a sure thing in the market. When you buy today, tomorrow, you don't know what will happen. So, <coughs> excuse me. So you should be, you should have uh, enough knowledge about the market and what you are trading. You should know what you are doing. Okay? Uh, buying a stock today and saying to me, I will see uh, tomorrow what, what will, it will do or what will happen. This believe me this is not strategy that a professional trader do okay this is not and you are just playing with your money you save your money for years and then you come to a stock market and you gamble with your money okay you shouldn't gamble because gambling you know that you are a loser always and uh, if someone uh, if someone has uh, has made money from gambling there are few people who are professional uh uh, in the, in in casinos and the other the other stuff, they are very professional. And they study a lot of math, and they they do probabilities a lot. But that but those they are professional, and they are few. They can make the money from the house. Okay, so for you, since you are a beginner, if you have whatever money you have, you just train yourself. Don't think about to make money in the first year or second year. Okay, set an objective. A simple objective is to train yourself. With this money, that's it. That is what you are looking. Not uh, one thousand, two thousand, and you think you make uh, fifty thousand in one year, and then one hundred thousand, and then you make a million dollar in in one year. This, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever you are thinking. Um, this is like dreams. But you know, when you do business, a business is not a dream. A business is something that you should know what you are doing. You have money. Uh, you know how to trade, you have specific strategy, and you, are, you begin making money. So what you need after is just money. That's it what you need. You need more money to make more money. Okay? I have seen some videos when they say, um, uh, do business without money. Yeah, I don't know how these people, they, they do, but believe me, if you have no money in business, um, it's very hard to make money. Okay? Especially in stock market. If you have 1,000, how, how can you make money with it, okay? Even if you, have, if you make $100 or $200 in one trade, but see, this is not something that you can rely on in your life, okay? If you want to become a professional trader, you need more than that, and you know that. You know that you need more than that. But uh, some people, they still ask me, how much do I need to begin trading? Uh, how, how can I double my money? How can I... This, you find, you find them like... Uh, um, uh, you find titles of videos like this how to double your money in one day how to do this how to make uh, one million dollar in, in one year how to do this is this is advertising okay and we we are here in this channel we are not doing advertising we are doing a real business where you need money you need to train yourself you need you need uh, in order to become a professional trader you need real things you don't need you don't need dreams. Let the dreams for later. When you have money, you dream what you do with your money. Because spending money is easier than making the money. Okay? So, uh, to sum up what I have said is that if you want to begin trading, you begin with whatever you have. $500, $1,000, $2,000, $10,000, be you just begin. But understand that the first year or second year, your objective is to learn how to trade, not to make money. Change, change your mindset. 
Because if you, if you begin to, uh, to think that you can make the money and you don't know how, you force yourself to go to penny stocks because you think you see a stock that was 10 cents and now it is $3. And you see, oh, if I have bought this stock at 10 cents, now it's $3. I make with $5,000, I can make $30,000 or $40,000, $50,000. Okay? This is you, you trade from the history of the stock. Okay, and you will never know when a stock uh, began to, tr to trend and when it ends. It's impossible. Okay, except when people do scams for penny stocks. Okay, so your objective is uh, to train yourself in this one year or two. Don't forget about making money. And the things that you don't do when you are a beginner, don't borrow money from your family, your father, mother, or your sister, or brother, or your a girlfriend or your husband or or your friends whatever don't borrow money because you don't know how to trade and you will lose part of this money or all this money with your money and then you are in debt okay the second thing that you don't do is don't go to your broker and ask for a margin account okay because a broker he will be happy to give to give uh, to give you money to get four percent or five percent or six percent of his money because understand, your broker can't make the money from the market. That's why he gives you the money. Why he doesn't trade with his money? Okay? Understand that. That it's so difficult. If you are not a professional trader, it's too hard to make the money. Okay? And uh, some people, when they do one trade or two, one week or two, two months or three, uh, sometimes the, the market is going up a little bit and he was lucky to have, uh, to have some money in uh, one week or two or one month or two he thinks that he become professional but the other months he lose all his profit and he lose part of his money and he understands that this game is a difficult game it's not an easy game okay it's like when you go to war and you can't go to war without weapons okay your weapons in trading is your knowledge is you have strategy you know what you are doing okay that is your weapons okay uh, I think that they have uh, answered your question. If you have more questions about this, uh, please um, comment or thumb it up. Subscribe if you don't. And send me a private message if you have a special message for me. And thank you very much and have a nice day. Thank you.